Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the everyone, nope, wrong one, in the upgraded tournament. So, uh, we know, the, we know the simple stuff by now. It's a tournament, bunch of characters put into it. Only characters that are assist trophies, spirits, me costumes, background characters, Pokeball Pokemon, stuff like that that could be upgraded into playable characters. We know this. So, that's what this whole tournament is about. That's why it's the upgraded tournament. Simple stuff. So, uh, Got a few rules to go over before we vote. Don't worry, the rules are very simple, so um, let's run through them really quickly. All right, rule number one, you got to be open-minded because like I just stated a couple seconds ago, every character in here has the chance to be upgraded into a playable character. So, you know, the assist trophies and spirits, stuff like that. So you got to be a little open-minded to be like, all right, yeah, that could po possibly happen. All right, uh, next rule, though, you only get one vote per person. Keep that in mind. Keep it fair. One vote per person. How do you vote? Simple. Down in the comments, type the name of the character you are voting for. Uh, yes, though. Yes, I repeat, you can vote for both by simply typing the word both. Totally fine. Uh, the rest of the rules, double elimination tournament, meaning the character has to lose two times before being officially eliminated. Then once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser of each individual match, well, if there's the tie, we're going to flip a coin on camera. Fairest way to break a tie. And each match matchup voting-wise only lasts for just one week. Those are the rules. Let's get to the rest of the video. All right, so we got to jump into the results from the matchup. Uh, that, well, up next. And the results, this this one honestly really surprised me. Um, the, the loser of this matchup ended up having the fewest votes of anybody so far from this tournament. And it was a really good matchup, which is why it's even more surprising. So the matchup was Bomberman, who was taking on Pauline. And um, one of these characters only got single-digit votes. I counted twice just to make sure I did, I wasn't missing anything, but nah. Check this out. Bomberman wins 39 votes to just six votes for Pauline. Pauline's usually a strong contender. I mean, what'd she do? Uh, no, she had a first run by, so that was her first matchup. And she uh, lost quite handily. Maybe not a lot of Pauline fans anymore. Maybe not. Maybe... Her ship has sailed on, um, you know, with the community. I don't know. Or maybe it's just Bomberman was... People like Bomberman a lot, so maybe that's just what it is. Anyway, congrats, Bomberman moves on to the next round of the winner's bracket. Pauline does drop to the loser bracket. But speaking of dropping to the loser bracket, that's where we're headed for today's matchup, which is another really good matchup in my opinion. Chun-Li from the Street Fighter series happens to be taking on Lloyd... Irving from the Tales of series, so um, Capcom versus Bandai. Let's jump into it. Now, Chun-Li, the legendary lady of fighting herself. She's been around for decades. She's got history. She's got a legacy. She's got it all, right? Recognizable name. Uh, it would help with uh, like uh, casual fans. They'd, anybody that's kind of like, all right, maybe I'll wait to see. Do I know the character? And then if I kind of know who they are, maybe then I'll take the, you know, I'll, I'll bite it and I'll end up purchasing it. Chun-Li, I mean, if you play video games, I mean, you play Smash Bros, so you got to be somewhat into fighting games. So you got to know fighting franchises like Street Fighter, Soul Calibur, uh, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, all those, you know, you got to know those names. And Chun-Li is always one of the most, you could say one of the most recognizable games when it comes to the fighting game community. Easy. Now, not a lot of people are going to say, yeah, do we really need another hand-to-hand -hand combat sort of fire fighter? I mean, Chun-Li, I think, can separate herself far, you know, enough from uh, Ryu and Ken and Terry. She could separate herself enough to where she's, all right, I can see her. You can see her play style and we go, all right, they different. I mean, plus female, right? That's still a thing. I was just on, um, I was just on a message board, uh, GameFAQs. The other day and there's a really cool topic or maybe it was within the topic whatever it was people were talking about hello where's our female character we didn't even get that for fighters pass one it's funny to look back at fighters pass one and kind of i was just thinking all right this sort of character is probably going to happen this specific character is probably going to happen and like pretty much nothing that i was expecting really happened in in a, in a little way maybe banjo is kind of, i guess i was more hoping for banjo than anything but no female character, no villain, no, like, what? what? What is happening? Like, it was crazy. So, is the Fighter Pass 2, is that a way to, I don't want to say 
rectify the first fighter's pass because like a lot of people think the first fighter's pass was great me personally if i wasn't such a big smash bros fan it wasn't the greatest fighter's pass i'll be honest joker i've never i don't play persona it does nothing for me uh the hero for dragon quest seems like a fun franchise i haven't played it too much again did nothing for it. banjo i grew up with banjo i love banjo banjo made the entire fighter's pass for me terry i love the I love where Terry came from. Might not be the biggest name anymore, but King of Fighters was still a very big thing in like the 90s. And the the history that he brought with him, I'm totally cool with that. But again, his, his reveal wasn't the most hype for me. And then Byleth, well, the whole Byleth situation, enough Fire Emblem, but he was still cool in his own right. So if I, if I pass and just kind of the first one, I don't know where I'm going with this. It doesn't have a lot to ch do with Chun-Li, but I'll turn it into that in a second. Uh, but if I'm looking at the first Fighters Pass, there's not a lot of hype for me. And maybe that's what I'm kind of getting to. I think for me, personally, and I think a lot of people as well, finally getting a female character, just to have one. I mean, there's so many to pick from. How do we... What? Whatever. For me, she would be a hype reveal. I could honestly say that. Yes, Street Fighter already has the two reps. Sure. But again, Chun-Li can be so much more different than Ryu and Ken. Be very fun, very recognizable. I think a very enjoyable character. And plus, I mean, I mean, Capcom and Nintendo. We talked about Capcom a little bit yesterday. Nintendo, Capcom, right? They, they got they got a pretty decent relationship, I'd have to say. So, I I don't know if um, Nintendo would kind of reach out to Capcom. You know, a, a company that already has reps in Smash Bros. Would they kind of, in this case, triple dip into that exact same franchise and say? All right, look, we got Ryu and Ken. Can we, can we kind of maybe complete that trifecta, if you will, of the recognizable, the most recognizable names? You know, no no offense to anybody else on the Street Fighter roster, but, you know, could we get Chun-Li? Could we work something out? So it, it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Um, I don't think she has that great of a chance, but personally, she would be, she'd be my opinion here. She would be more hype for me than Joker then Hero, and probably Terry and Violet. If she, if Fighter Pass 1 had the original 5 that they had, and then plus Chun-Li for an extra one, Chun-Li would have been like the second most hyped for me, personally. It's weird, but it is what it is. I just wasn't too fond of the characters. I still played them. I mean, Hero's definitely grown on me. Terry, I like the style. I like the fighting style. Pretty fun. Violet definitely gave him a chance, and I like the style as well, so... Never judge a character before you actually get to play as them, right? Exactly. So, uh, what about Lloyd Irving, though? Chun-Li's opponent here. So, Lloyd Irving's always been a character of hot debate in the Smash community, right? The Bandai argument. They deserve another rep. Why do they only have one? Look, Pac-Man is absolutely freaking awesome on the roster. I love Pac-Man. Still remember the day he got revealed. That was pretty hype. I was getting ready to go to work. I'm eating cereal out in the out my living room. And pulled up my iPad real quick, and boom. Wait, new character announcement? And red, blue, and yellow. I'm like, yo, what's the Pikachu? And then all of a sudden, no, Pac-Man. I lost my mind for a little bit, because I was like, Pac-Man is in the same game as Mario and Sonic and Mega Man and all this. That was such a cool day for me. It's going to live with me for a long time. So, going to the back to the point, Bandai. One character? One character? What? Uh, I mean, they've done so much. Oops, he's dropped my controller. They've done so much for Smash Bros, right? And, like, if they don't get a second character in the Fighters Pass 2, or the if there happens to be even more DLC characters after Fighters Pass 2, I don't think there will be. But if there happens, if Bandai does not get another character in Smash Ultimate DLC's life cycle, I will be very, very, very surprised. Like, they deserve it. They have a lot of characters. Lloyd Irving, they have Tekken, they got Hayachi or Jin. I'd like Hayachi, but again, his voice actor passed away, so it's like, I don't know if I... Whatever, different different topic. They got uh, Digimon, I love Digimon. Agumon would be perfect. Pokemon vs. Digimon, we get that as well. But the point is, Bandai is sitting on a treasure trove of franchises, of iconic characters that people know, people have been requesting. Is that what we're going to get with Fighter Pass 2? Characters that were requested or thought to be have a pretty good chance what about arms go back to smash ultimates uh you know the 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 teaser with the inkling trailer 
Back then, lots of people, maybe they didn't want it, but lots of people were expecting an ARMS character. It's just the way it was. Remember that? It was like the, one of the very first legitimate, it wasn't a leak, but it was a pretty well done fake leak that had Springman and uh, Decidueye there. I mean, a uh, lot of people were uh, believing it. It had the ARMS stadium uh, as the stage. It was a really cool thing. So, I don't know. What was the point? I forget. Anyway, Lloyd Irving, though. Play style, dual swords user. Most people know what he can do. Uh, I mean, like, in terms of characters, again, I'll go the same path I was doing with uh, Chun-Li. Chun okay, I didn't say this about Chun-Li. She's not my most requested character by any means. But no arguments against her. Same for Lloyd. Not my most requested character, but I, I still feel he might be a little bit more hype than four out of the five from the first Fighter Pass for me. If, if same thing, like I was saying with Chun-Li, if you take the original five from Fighter Pass 1, and then you tacked on Lloyd Irving as well, I think Lloyd Irving might have been my second most hype reveal. That's If, if that would have played out that way, I truly feel that way. So, I, I'm a fan of Lloyd. I'm not the biggest fan of the Tales of franchise, by any means, but I'm still a fan of the character. We still don't have his me costume. Where's that at? Bandai, hello? Did Nintendo and Bandai just go, you know what? No, we don't want to put any more Bandai content in Smash Bros. In fact, we're going to take some out. What? The Hayachi me costume, that's still, we're still waiting for that. And wouldn't that just make a lot of sense? Say Lloyd Irving does end up happening. Maybe we still get the Lloyd Irving me costume to make a return. And then we end up getting other Bandai characters, um, you know, for me costume. Maybe the Hayachi one could end up returning, something like that. Klonoa, that'd be kind of fun, right? Klonoa's Bandai, right? I'm pretty sure. But both of these would make fantastic characters. Chun-Li, Lloyd Irving, I really feel that way. But uh, for me, my vote, going to go Chun-Li in this one. Going to go Chun-Li. Uh, I, I think I can see myself playing as her character more than I would if they were both in at the same time, you know? So... I guess that's my reason. I'm voting Chun-Li. Let me know who you guys got down in the comments. Chun-Li, Lloyd Irving, or both. All good options. So that is it for this one. Double upload today. It is Friday. We are back on the Raid Boss grind. Kind of. You'll see if, if anyone's... Ex uh, if you like the Raid Bosses, the, the video comes out in a few hours after this one. And you'll see why it's kind of a Raid Boss video. I'll explain it. But uh, anyway, that is it. Uh, so sneak peek for tomorrow. The results that we will get... For uh, tomorrow's matchup, are going to be from Gengar, who is taking on Isaac. Remember, these votes have already been tallied up, and I will tell you, it was actually pretty. This one's pretty close. This one's pretty close. It might actually surprise you. Might actually surprise you. But that's the results for tomorrow. And then, uh, what's the matchup? This matchup, I can't believe, is in the loser first round of the loser bracket. Tomorrow's matchup: Rayman from Rayman Legends. The Rayman, yeah, we know him. The the limbless wonder. He's taking on. Shadow the Hedgehog. Start of the tournament, I would have pegged Rayman and Shadow as two of the top five probably favorite characters to win this upgraded tournament. They both are early, early in the tournament, they're in the loser bracket. And then they end up facing each other, which means one is getting eliminated very early. That's a little mind-blowing to me, just because they always, both of them always do very well in the tournaments. And... Well, unfortunately, they they find themselves here. So that is going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, second second video, Raid Boss kind of video later today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.